Hey, what's going on, guys? Where we left off, we were in the middle of a firefight, and apparently I just leveled. I I don't know why, but eh, gonna do. And Tayden screwed us over. Well, by screwed us over, I mean he died a lot. Something tells me he's going to be dead. Back. Thank you. We got the arrow, and now we're trying to escape the ruins before it takes in on our face. Okay, there's battle master. Ah! Uh, shotgun. Oh, no, down. No! No! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Run away! Run away! Haha! <laughs> do something! Oh, of course. Of course he would die. And, uh, pistol. Oh, come on, no, 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 no. Ooh! Throw the battle. And I just murdered him. Are we leaving Caden in the Oh no, he he's okay. He's okay. He's okay, lady. He's okay. This might be loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Graphic. Keep running. Oh boy. Why'd you stop? Hey, people, don't tell people to move when they're not moving. Move the frick. That's right. We're in the cabin. Get out of there. Hey, Joe is there. I think we made it out. Don't stop running. I mean, the whole place could just cave in. The tower thing that you're on could just break at any second. And it fits black, so I guess it didn't. You hear that weird noise I just made? I don't know what that was. It was like a burp and a hiccup in my throat. Ah, oh, 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 that hurt. I felt awkward. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy yeah, isn't yeah. equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. Oh, thanks. We Joker. almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. Well, he did save some. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. Mm, I don't have a lot no, of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. Now, the that is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 out. years trying to figure out what happened to them. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Wait, so Protheans were not the first? I, I, I think I skipped this part, but I don't know. Uh, if the Protheans the weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. Then how do you there know? There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. No, you the don't. The galaxy is built on a you cycle no of extinction. You don't know that you're Each right. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans no, rose wrong. up from a single world ruins until their empire it. spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Um, let's they were her. wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? 
Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding so they basically still works probe is me. extremely rare. No Yay. wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working one, beacon, ladies, even a badly an damaged alien. one, is worth almost any well, risk. Not an alien, but the beacons but were only programmed device. to interact with proof of physiology. Counts. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, oh, this isn't helping you. us find Saren or the Condor. Uh, I think that was right. her way of flirting, I'm but sorry, I don't know. I'm sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. You can still I don't know why yourself. Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. Maybe. Antibiotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Lyra. Oh, that Thank was you, a Commander. creepy spot. I am very grateful. Oh. Kind of reminded me of Willem Dafoe. I'm afraid I am feeling Just a bit creepy lightheaded. Little smile. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. Oh, it don't try and get some Kaden. Come on. Coupled with the shock of discovering Weak. the Protheans' true fate, I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismiss me. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Ah, great. Great. We're gonna talk to the council. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Did they say anything We've crappy received your to me. report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Norman now. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. He wants to help the us. The on our side. The Geth are trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Yep. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Oh, come on. Really? Why, why are you blaming me for that? I just got there with already in ruins. Wait, I can disconnect. Is it bad that I'm thinking about it? I'm doing it. I don't need this. Communications cut, Commander. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Giving it to the man. That's right. What, what, what was that? LTL comp. Ooh. Yay! Got experience. I just totally hung the phone on them. That is awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. If they call me again, I'm gonna get so much crap for that. I. Uh, in hindsight, that probably would not have been the best idea. Nah, it was funny at the time. God, this elevator goes so slow. So, how was your day, guys? Hmm? Anything you want to tell me? Anything fascinating? Oh, nope, too late. You had your chance. To the sub wait. We should probably equip everyone first. Uh to the lockers! Ba 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 ba. Let's see. Let's go to Ash. Oh no, nope, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Let's give her the Avenger one. No. That one. That's it. Let's see. Caden was with us. Let's equip stuff to Gareth. Two. And that's it. Rex was with us. Hallie. There we go. Nope. There we go. And Liara. 
fucking knew that. But it sucks on her. Well, she got nothing. Oh, right, I can, uh, do that. Uh, let's go shield. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I thought something better. Something better. First aid. She looks like Helix. This one goes to... Let's do that. And... Wait, Rex already has one, I think. Yeah, Rex has one. Let's put one to Garrus. There's that. Kaden has one. Let's go to Ashley. Uh, okay. Shield generator. Alright. Now to sell crap. This is just part of the game, guys. Looking for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. This is the boring part. I'm sorry. Let's just sell all the stuff we don't need. Okay. Can't use that. Can't use that. No, no, no. You're gonna want those. You're gonna want those. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. You never know when you might need some of this stuff. Uh, you're that. You're that. Can I? Can I buy stuff now? I'm on a, a thousand. Why can't I get anything good? I mean, I secondhand stuff. That's bad. Really? Come on. Yes. How are you? Why did you want second? to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like, like? what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight. Gary, stop mumbling. The audience can't me. hear you. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. Mm-hmm. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Uh, I cannot That's stand. tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Sarah. My father's a CSEC man to the boat. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. Thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Sarah. Nah, I, I think you're gonna shoot him in the face. Younger, the you were asked to be a specter? Well, I was told that he's a real specter. Yeah, he was meant to be a specter. Me about a I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the specters. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power, no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. <laughs> Not all Spectres are like Sarah, you know. Really? Of course not. But if Sarah's he was Spectre, we could be like Spectre buddies. We could have done everything. If you want to nail Sarah, you need to send some awesome weapons and armor, or talk about how crazy this certain mission was. It would have been great. Exactly. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own I'm game. Sorry, I didn't really it's the only way to listen stop him. to him. I was too busy talking. I'm right behind you, Commander. Uh, story of my life. All right, time to talk to Ashley. See you. Commander, we have a minute to talk. I keep an yeah, open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on. All right. Oh, the friggin' lens flare. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, the oh, carrying really? and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. That's this is the most advanced ship in the Alliance. Bit Navy. racist, I think you should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Because Engine, they're aliens. Sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. Since when is a Krogan and we, not Council race? Humanity. I mean, we have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. I as would. noble as the council I mean, members seem, we do have two secrets right after this. against the wall, so. they'll abandon us. Not necessarily. I don't see that as inevitable. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. I wouldn't. It's not I'd racism. I'd tackle the bear. Not really. I'd members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. I've heard this before. You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Even terra though I have never heard of those. Jackals. The Founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. 
I hope my reasons are more rational. Someone told me what xenophobia means. I mean, I heard it, but I don't really understand what it means. They all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. Someone comment below. Please. I guess we just tend to think of Earth centrists as our own. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. Thank you, it Gustavo. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. What about me? Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. Dang it! That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. What's your you opinion just... on the last mission? Not sure I bought the doctor to sell me story. That guy and mom not talking. They're family, right? I think she's being straight with us. Or at least, I don't think she lies very often. Ah, she just yeah, she's led me on and then really just bad at it. <laughs> Too bad me those the balls. got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. Rude. That's impressive. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. So, we've got Saren on the run. Yeah, we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. That's right. Good. He's rotten. To the core. Like I could a bad tell apple. as soon as I met him. Wait, you knew? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have. I thought it was important. Uh, fair I enough. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. I didn't know he Saren had open. a job before. I only showed like, his I face didn't know he was once. a good guy before. We've been raiding ships in the area for episode. months when we took out this massive Crap. cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. So Saren was a I was on raider and he became a specter? Was the council de desperate or something? That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. Or just when he, he was just moving through the ship. First had to go all big, bad, and ugly on us. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Ah, uh, poor baby. That's the only time you saw him. Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other right. merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Wow. Well, so that looked right. great. <laughs> I should not have said so long, Rex, right after he said every single person on that mission was dead. <laughs> that was... That was interesting. Wait, wait, I can examine something. Ooh, yay. Let's start with Tally. Hello, Shepard. Oh, what's wrong, baby girl? Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. Aww. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? Not so bad. You'll get used to it. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. Aww, I couldn't she's wait homesick. to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out Aww, here, everyone watching, I kind of miss yeah. them. Give a hug to Sometimes Tally. we don't appreciate someone, what we have. Someone hug Tally it's right gone. now. Can I hug that's Tally? That's true. She needs a hug. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's what? given me a whole Just sending you out on your own and realize, and oh, I can't do this. I miss home and no. just crawl all the way back. I'm pretty sure that's not what it's about. I always assumed something bad happened to them, but maybe they just wanted a different life. I should not say, but you're going back, right? Because that makes me sound insensitive. So I'll just I leave. Go. See you later. Excuse me. Alright, time to check upstairs. Alright, talk to everyone. Yeah. 
and I'm gonna go up to the Let's go. Well, that happened. It, you, you saw that, right? It's glitch dropped me. Okay, now we're back in the elder. Tell me about your day. Tell me everything about it. Anything interesting happened? Hmm? Did Chris say hi to you? How'd you do on that test? Hmm? Think about get oh your your time's up. Sorry, gotta go. Let's go here. Whoa, what is that? Is that Yay, mini gel! Mmm, weird tuck chuck of us. There's the aura. I remember she was in the bed bag, I forgot where though. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Uh you, you look are much you okay? better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's the best. You're in good hand. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up... Uh, don't mention it. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. Oh. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. Oh, okay. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. I know. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I like to talk about you. Tell me about you. yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes oh boy. I would run Sometimes afoul of the wrong idea. or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Uh -huh. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. I know the feeling. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. Um, that is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Um, fascinating? Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. <laughs> She's so socially I only meant awkward. That you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Relax. <laughs> Calm down, Leo. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess! How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete Acting. and utter fool. She's giving it. She's now really, you know why really I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. Some of the I other always seem to say something embarrassing about other people. The characters in the first one Please, and just pretend this conversation never sequels. happened. Let's just go. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Before she says something too embarrassing. All right, time to check on Caden. Cause I know he had a troubling time. Wait. Ooh, locker! Yay! Ah. Really? Nothing? And they're not even good! Let's talk to Kaden. See if he's got anything interesting to say about how he died like ten times on the mission. Anything you need, Commander? Uh, personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off Speak your mind, boy. Linka, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. I should not have said That's that. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. Really? This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get back up from the Council? Well, it's because they don't believe it. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. I hear The Council you. doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informed. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Uh, that's Tell okay. Me. No! 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 What I say, Pat? No, he's gonna go rambling on. The, to the kids they hold in his brain camp. Oh, uh, he went to brain He's a... Ah, uh, he's a to guy. To an evaluation of no, he's, he's so a kid that goes to math camp and... 
No. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero and one. Beats the brain. Uh, accidental element zero. That. Um. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was down when yeah, the Yeah, I mean, crash. your mom it was before they were met someone with element zero growth in their, their veins. It could have been your daddy, and they no had a wonderful now, seafood dinner, three, and they went their separate ways, and you popped out of her belly button. That, that's how babies work, right? I mean, that is tradition. Uh, sounds rough. Go on. Jump zero is a long way from home. What was it like? Oh my God! This is the one time I just want everyone to stop. Humanity stop looks a lot thing. But that's my it's own language, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. Yeah, I don't, why I don't I say that? that I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. <laughs> you are though. Besides, I've got my past squared away. Doesn't sound like it. Uh, <laughs> thank God it's over. All right, I'm gonna pause it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want me to do next. What game you want me to do next, I mean, by that. And let me know what kind of a person you want Gustavo Shepard to be. Alright, peace enough. Bye.